Hi lovely and darling viewers, it's Jen here at Check Her Joy, and this time I'm doing another Top 5 Wednesday. As always, the Goodreads group is in the description below if you want to check that out. This week's topic is our favorite science fiction and fantasy books. And I super love the science fiction and fantasy. That is my go-to genre. Um, so I've actually decided to pick five science fiction and fantasy books that I love a lot, but I haven't talked about much on this channel um, to kind of shine the spotlight on some of my other favorite books that maybe I haven't talked about. So my first pick is Journey to the Sun of the Earth by Jules Verne. I first read this book in I think fifth grade maybe um, and just loved it. I have reread this book so many times and it's the first book that really got me uh, onto reading classic science fiction and really just devouring all of that. This book focuses on an expedition to explore the center of the earth. They find this cave and they just keep going deeper and deeper and deeper and then they find other caves and caverns. Um, specifically there's one with like dinosaurs in it or dinosaur-like creatures, you know, evolution. Um, and it just, it always captivated like me to like, if you explore deep enough, you could find something you wouldn't even imagine could happen. Maybe not the most scientifically accurate book, hence the dinosaurs, but still really love it. Next on my list is Dr. Jekyll and Mr. Hyde by Robert Louis Stevenson. And I, I really love all those old monster movies um, that are kind of science fiction fantasy, like Dracula, The Picture of Dorian Gray, uh, Frankenstein, but I think Dr. Jekyll and Mr. Hyde is my favorite. Um, it focuses on Dr. Jekyll who comes up with this potion that transforms him into kind of the opposite personality of what he normally has in Dr. Hyde. So, or Mr. Hyde. <laughs> So Dr. Jekyll is this very kind of upstanding citizen, re kind of doing what he's supposed to do, following the rules, um, and then Mr. Hyde is all those deeper, um, darker parts of him, like the murderous, monstrous one who wants to go out and just get drunk and just have fun and just does whatever it comes to his mind immediately. So the part about this book that interests me is that there's these two separate psyches happening within like this one person. like. It's still Dr. Jekyll when he turns into Hyde, but it's kind of him without inhibitions. Um, which I just, I love that idea, like to think that through, like what our darker selves would be um, and what are we willing to sacrifice for scientific discovery too. Next up is Mort by Terry Pratchett. This is one of the Discworld novels. So the Discworld is this other planet it's a flat disc, um, and it's just kind of a parody of our own world. It's sort of medieval-ish, um, but it's just, it's fun. It's very well thought out and constructed, but still funny and sarcastic and um, satire. That's the word I'm looking for. It's a satire, um, and it's just brilliant. My favorite character in the disc world, though, is Death or the Grim Reaper, um, and in Mort, he gets an apprentice. Um, Mort is this human who just becomes, uh, who tries to learn how to do the Grim Reaper's job. And I, I love the Grim Reaper, like how he tries to understand humans, like he's on this different plane and he's interacting with humans, but only at the moment where they're dying and he doesn't quite fully see all of us. And then in this book, we also have Mort who's trying, who sees like, the Grim Reaper's world and what that's like. Um, so it's kind of these two different like worlds within the disc world uh, colliding and trying to understand each other and it's just it's fun to think about. I, I love it. Next on my list I have Engines of War which is one of the Doctor Who books. This one's by George Mann. Um, it focuses on the War Doctor so this is the Doctor during the Time War um, and if you don't know Doctor Who is a British sci-fi show that focuses on a time-traveling alien who has a spaceship that's shaped like a police box and it's wonderful. He likes to pick up humans, they're like his favorite pets, um, and kind of just show them the universe. And in this book, we get to see the Doctor on his own in the middle of this great 
war through all of time and space with the Doctor's arch enemy, the Daleks. And the Daleks' goal is just to destroy everything that is not Dalek, and the Time Lords are like, yo, hey, that's not cool. Um, so this is the one version of the Doctor that we don't get to see a lot. Um, he first appears, and actually only appears, in Day of the Doctor. So first off, we have this glimpse into this missing piece of the Doctor, this missing personality. Um, we also get to see more of Scarrow, the Dialect's home planet, and Gallifrey, the Doctor's home planet, which we get glimpses of, but not a, like a ton of time with either of these planets, considering what big parts these two species play. Um, and just, I love it. And just the time war in general, just finding out what happened during the time war and what it was like. So I love this book for the gaps it fills in with the show. Like I really love Doctor Who and this is my favorite Doctor Who book because it answers a lot of questions that I had um, and fills in things that the show was missing. And my final pick is Hatter Madigan, Ghost of the Hatbox by Frank Fedor and Adrian Cress. This is a children's book that is set in this alternate version of Wonderland. Like the later books focus on like this war between the Red Queen and Alice with the Mad Hatter being this bodyguard for Alice and that's really cool and awesome and I love this whole world that Frank Fedora has developed um, but I like Ghost in the Hat Box best because this is a prequel it's set when Hatter's 10 or 12 or something like that. Like, he's still in school. Um, he's actually, this is when he goes to school to learn how to be an assassin and learns all his hat making skills and his hat's a weapon and learning how to fight. And just, it's cool. It kind of reminds me of mashing up Harry Potter books with like this wizarding school, except that they're learning how to use imagination. And combining that with the Alice in Wonderland books, where we get to see Wonderland. Basically, I just, I really love this one. It was fun and whimsical and cool to see that other side and to really get to see Hatter and what makes him tick and why he fights so strongly for what he does. So those are my top five favorite science fiction and fantasy books that I don't talk about constantly. <sighs> The entire list of books is in the description below, as well as links to the reviews for the ones that I have reviewed. Peace out, I love you guys, and keep reading. Bye!